Good day, friends. When we were in Israel in 1995, a wonderful Presbyterian, beautiful lady, tried to teach us a song, We Are Marching in the Light of God, a great Afri African song. And uh, somehow we didn't quite get it right, but I've since learned it. And so the tune and the melody are very, very engaging. You may want to sing this throughout the day as you learn it. We are marching in the light of God. 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 We are marching, marching. We are marching, marching. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching, marching. We are marching, marching. We are marching in the light of God. We are singing 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 in the light of God. We are singing, singing. We are singing, singing. We are singing in the light of God. We are singing, singing. We are singing, singing. We are singing in the light of God. We are dancing 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 in the light of God. We are praising, praising. We are praising, praising. We are praising in the light of God. We are praising, praising. We are praising, praising. We are praising in the light of God. We are praying 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 in the light of God. We are praying, praying. We are praying, praying. We are praying in the light of God. We are praying, praying. We are praying, praying. We are praying in the light of God. So as you kind of learn that tune, I kind of sang it a couple of times through. You can plug in praising, singing, dancing, worshiping, whatever. The Holy Spirit moves you to share. As we begin our reading today, a reading from Psalm 149, selected verses. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and to make music to him with tambourine and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with salvation. Let the saints rejoice in this honor and sing for joy on their beds. May the praise of God be in their mouths. That uh, verse let the saints rejoice in this honor and sing for joy on their beds. I woke up this morning feeling like I was a guest in a place of worship. It wasn't where I'm customarily, but I was a guest there. And uh, it felt good to be in the company of the saints. Somebody's listening to this today. And having maybe heard the earlier worship that I posted, actually created yesterday and posted last night, they just simply think, you know, that person thinks this isn't enough. And I agree. This is being spe a spectator. This is participation only partially. Because the true worship, I think, the, the kind that was designed for the temple of the Lord and in our houses of worship today was when the people, the saints of God, can gather face to face and something happens the spirit moves people begin to respond and that was what was happening as i was a guest in this experience and uh, there was a person that was off afar who was there with a family member and uh, that person was oppressed and i won't go into the details because i don't want to give the evil one any glory but there were three family members there were so it appeared and so I think today someone, as I'm worshiping, I'm worshiping, and hopefully some of you can worship by joining in and not just be spectators. 
is I worship somebody's being set free from something. Maybe it's anxiety. Maybe it's uh, feeling depressed because of all the circumstances. Maybe it's simply that you wish to this very moment on a Sunday in the morning, in the late morning, being with those people whom you call the family of God, a small segment of the larger family of God. Yesterday I referenced a good friend, Leslie Hamp. Her dad was a parishioner of mine. I got to know the family extremely well and just feel like I'm a part of that family, although we haven't seen one another for a while. Her dad died uh, some years ago now, and uh, she posted in a devotional an experience that she had after her dad had died. He was a remarkable man and uh, an educator, like my dad, an educator. And uh, some of you may have remembered that I referenced uh, when my dad came to me in a dream about six months after he passed away. Well, this was posted in a devotional, and she shared it with me and others and gave me permission as we communicated to share it with you. The phone call. My dad, a lifelong educator, was one serious guy with very high standards. And I remember that about Jim. He was maybe a little gruff in the exterior, but uh, he had a heart of gold. And I became a fast friend of his and deeply appreciated that. He could also be one, uh, one serious party guy. That part I didn't know about Jim. After my wedding 40 years ago, he stayed up into the wee hours of the morning. Actually, he never did go to bed. What was the point when there was so much socializing and celebrating at hand? When my new husband and I arrived the next morning, Dad was still in his tux, reading the morning newspaper cover to cover. After his passing in 2011, I began noticing Dad's energy all around me. One evening, I was at dinner with friends when the bill arrived. Mike quickly picked it up to treat us all. I laughed, saying, my dad used to do that. And just then, my phone rang. Dad's name and number, which had remained in my phone book, were on the screen. I said to Mike and Belinda, look, my dad is calling. We all stared wide-eyed. My phone had been sitting in the middle of the table all evening. I had not inadvertently dialed his number, but clearly he was calling me. We were dumbfounded. A week later, my sister Trish urged me to check my recent calls. Sure enough, there was Dad's call. My two sisters and I got a good chuckle out of that, marveling at this, and I quote, Dad's sighting. I recall my dad saying he thought of his parents every single day. I have new empathy and understanding for that statement and feel their presence daily. They just keep showing up when I least expect it. And for that, I am truly grateful. An amazing God sighting. And I'm privileged to share that with each one of you. Jesus was raised from the dead. And he communicated with his disciples by appearing. A 40-day appearance, evidently, according to what the scriptures cite or at least maybe a 50-day appearance before his 40 days, and then his ascension into heaven, and then we celebrate Pentecost 50 days into Easter, according to tradition. But I love the fact that after his passing in 2011, she noticed her dad's energy all around. Does our Lord allow our loved ones maybe to glimpse through the holes in the floor of heaven, as Steve Warner in that great country song sang? Maybe at strategic times we feel their touch. I'm convinced that within, you know, maybe moments in a short time of their passing, six months for my daddy came to me in that dream, that maybe there is some assuaging of our spirits when our, when our spirits are so sore and when we need a reminder that we come from a great tradition of faith and faithfulness. So Jim, Jim McAlpin was my uh, parishioner, and he'd come to the early service, and uh, I miss him every day. And one of the things that you might have heard is that great song, Precious Memories, 
about uh, how sacred scenes unfold when we think about our forebears, those who've gone before us. I was thinking about my grandparents just the other day, yesterday, and their place where we used to congregate, which was a place of sanctity and safety on a hill. Much of the hill now is largely cut away, and there are homes that are sitting there. But uh, I was thinking about all of the treasured memories that we shared when I heard Alan Jackson later in the day sing Precious Memories, a great hymn. Well, all of his hymns on his album are great. Worship with me a little bit if you know these two choruses that I'm going to sing. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. To me he is so wonderful. To me he is so wonderful. To me. He is so wonderful because he first loved me. And he's the great shepherd, the rock of all ages, almighty God is he. Fall down before him, love and adore him. His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. His name is wonderful, his name is wonderful. His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. He is the mighty King, Master of everything. His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. He's the great Shepherd, the rock of all ages, almighty God is he. Fall down before him, love and adore him. His name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord, and oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. And oh, sing it with me, how I love Jesus, touch the name of his garment. Oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. He reaches out to us so that we can reach out to others. And we pray, Lord, that you would come into every heart within the hearing of my voice. We look forward to the time when we can be reunited, when worship can occur as we interact one with another. And that's so missing right now. This kind of video participation, spectator participation, is second best only because there's something synergistic by the Holy Spirit about God's people assembling together, breaking bread, drinking from the cup, proclaiming testimony, experiencing the presence of the Lord. It is the best thing to heaven that is what we experience, will experience one day, heaven breaking in even now 
is what that is, even now. And so, until we're together again, sisters and brothers, someone today who is listening to this had a breakthrough. Someone had a breakthrough. Someone is feeling uplifted. As the psalmist said, we pray and sing from our beds. May it be so for each one of us until we can be together again. Heaven is breaking in, even now.